Because if you don't, a bunch of fighters will jump in and swarm you, and you'll be in big trouble. Ooh, Hobbs. Oh, you bastard. I forgot about him. And Thrakath's there, too. Let's taunt Thrakath a little bit. In your wet Uh-huh. Uh-huh, whatever. Okay, now we have two pack fans and Hobbs and Thrakath. Now, you want to go after Thrakath first. Oh, screw you. Now, the strategy for Thrakath is, yeah, go at him. And once you get in shooting range, you're going home in a box. Okay, you this. Once you get within shooting range, you get kind of close. Let's see if we can get a little closer here. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Decloak and fire. And if you get lucky, you'll take him out. And if you don't, that's fine. He's gonna start making passes at you, and you're gonna want to take him out just like normal. Shoot and dodge. Yep, see, he's not very strong, actually. <laughs> That's weird. That's usually a message you get when, you, when you're cloaked. Okay. Make sure every decoy is ready. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, Thrakath, you suck. You stupid son of a bitch. Now, uh-oh, crap. Now, don't go after those pack dens. You want to go after Hobbs right away. Because they're your main targets. The pack fans are kind of slow and they won't shoot at you. And to advance into the next zone, you have to take out... All you have to do is take out Hobbs and Thrakat. And once you do that, you automatically go to the next zone. So, just ignore the pack fans. Alright, come on, Hobbs. Ew, you got off a missile on me. That's not cool. No, hold my damage report. Now I'm doing it. But just like before, Hobbs only has, you know, six missiles and... Those forward guns, so just, just shoot and just kind of dodge. Just like you did before, except now we'll be able to be more successful. Well, I say before, like if you went after him. Well, if you went after him before, he wouldn't be here. But if you watch my bonus episode, you can kind of make strafing passes at him and hope for the best. But now, all I need to do is just hang out. Yeah, just ignore the path ends. Just kind of fly around, dodge him. Start making passes. And just kind of shoot and dodge. There we go. Got him. As soon as he goes down, we go down to the atmosphere of, of the planet Kilra. Ooh, it's a pretty evil looking planet. Now, as soon as you land, cloak. Because, let me switch to my view here. There's some tanks on the ground, along with some uh, towers there. And so we just kind of want to get out of the way. Where, and there should be some captures around here somewhere. Or other. No, maybe not. Now, we can't auto... So all we, what we have to do now is we have to just maintain course and just keep going to the fault line. Now, as long as we're cloaked, oh, there's the there's the enemy music. As long as we're cloaked, no one can see us. And there's some Akapshis. Now, you will, I guarantee you, this one you will face an infinite number of Akapshis um, if you decide to decloak. So it's not worth it. So all you need is just stay cloaked. And for some reason, the Akapshis kind of sense your presence because they uh, they may they kind of stay with you. It's kind of weird. So what we're going to do now is turn on our auto afterburners. And to do that, you just push the key next to the number one key. On the left is that little side slash thing there. And now all we need is just follow the way area. As soon as the way area gets to zero, we'll have hit the fault line. So all you need to do now is just navigate across uh, the surface of Kilra there. And the Kilra is kind of a red planet. Um, I'm not going to show it to you just because well, there's just no point in seeing it. But Kilra is kind of a reddish planet. I don't know if they showed... It. Well, when we decloak, you'll get to see it. So, anyways, all I'm going to do is follow along this path. If I run into any obstacles I need to show you, I will. But if not, we'll see you in just a moment. Once I get closer to that fault line. Okay, hey, viewers, some mountains are approaching. So, even though the way area is right in front of us, just obviously dodge the mountains. Um, just, you'll, you'll, the way area doesn't move that much. So, just like that. Just kind of dodge mountains until the... Tell the, that little uh, plus screen comes back in front of us, and okay, there we go. Okay, we're getting close. Let's see if I can lock onto that fault line there. Where is it? Aha! There it is. Okay, now 
I want to say a couple things about this. Uh, are we locked on? Okay, good. Yeah, we're locked on the follow. Now, a couple things I'm going to say about this. Now, there's an alternate strategy to get past all that first part of the mission. You can actually cloak right from the beginning. Well, send your wingman home first. Then cloak right from the beginning, and you can just zip right past those zones. Okay, that's the first thing. I recommend not doing that because it takes too long and it's kind of cowardly. So I wouldn't do that. The second thing I'm going to say is, as regards to this video, as soon as the T-bomb hits the fault line, the ending sequence starts. So I'm actually going to cut off right now, and as soon as the fault line hits, the video will stop. So just be uh, wait, just be ready for the ending sequence to start next time. So I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of um, Let's Play Wing Commander 3. This is BCS Buster decloaking, hitting the bullseye, and signing off. Decloak. Fire and go. Take care, y'all. Dodge the Capsies. If you want to turn around and fight him, you can.